a stock chromal solution which is pre-applied on most stock CPU cooler designed to last for a couple of years before your CPU turns into an oven machine. I've got my Ryzen 5 3600 just about 7 months ago and I decided to replace the thermal face for the reason about a week ago I troubleshooting the motherboard of my friend and I removed my CPU for that until it's too late to realize that my thermal face is already empty and I'm ending with reusing the old stock thermal solution and to be honest it's not that bad having around 55 degrees celsius on idle and around 65 degrees on gaming therefore I searched online for some quality thermal face and found one of these Arctic MX4 which is one of the most popular and best performing thermal paste out there. Start by discharging your system by holding down power button for around 10 seconds then touching the metal part of your case. This is always the best practice to avoid grounding or shorting your components. Then unscrew the CPU cooler diagonally. It's important especially on Ryzen CPUs to unscrew or screw diagonally. This is to balance the pressure on the CPU. Some important tip when changing the CPU that will make your life more easier. Use your PC first or run a CPU stress test for about 15 to 30 minutes. By doing this, the thermal compound becomes soft and the CPU cooler will be much easier to remove. In removing the CPU cooler, just twist with a gentle force. Don't twist it too hard for the reason you might bend the fragile pins beneath. Then to clean the old paste in the CPU and CPU heatsink, you can use some tissue or cleaning cloth with isopropyl alcohol. You can use other type of alcohol but you must be very careful not to touch the sensitive components. Clean only the integrated head spreader or the top of your CPU. You can use multiple application until your CPU is shining clean. And the same goes for the heat sink as well. The CPU is now shining clean. Let's apply the Arctic MX4 thermal paste but before that, here's the quick unboxing. Now let's apply some fresh thermal paste with about P size and that's very ideal and effective amount and it's not always a best practice to add a little bit more remounting the CPU holder is a bit trick part the most easy way is either having a friend to hold the mounting bracket or by removing the motherboard from the chassis and remounting the CPU holder in some flat non-conductive surface in order to hold the mounting bracket in place but if you're alone and don't have any friends just hold and apply a little force in these mounting holes in order for you to screw the CPU cooler in place securely first align the CPU cooler in the mounting holes and start screwing diagonally.
once it's secure in place, you can tighten the screw but don't over tight them. Plug the 4 pin CPU cooler header back in and let's run a CPU stress test to benchmark our temperature. So here it is after about 30 minutes of stress test. And our CPU is on full load all the time. We get a decent temperature drop from around 55 degrees Celsius on idle into about 41 degrees Celsius only. On the old Rios Thermal Solution, I've got a maximum of 75 degrees on stress test. And on the Arctic MX4 Thermal Paste, that is drop into 60 degrees Celsius. That's a massive 15 degrees drop. Going into conclusion, the Arctic MX4 is one of the best thermal paste you can buy right now. It did a great job lowering my temperatures even on full load. So that's it, hope you enjoyed the video and consider leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.